The first layer of the IoT technology stack is the device hardware. Let's see how it looks for the Nest Learning Thermostat. Out of the box, we note that the product must be versatile, offering compatibility with the many home settings. The heat link, white box on the left picture, can be connected to the boiler and establish a wireless connection to the thermostat, while the base, here with a blue sticker, can communicate to the boiler via wires. Both options are the actuator of the nest transforming its decision into a signal to the boiler. It is common for designers to tear apart products to understand what is in them. Here, at first glance, on the right, we can note a battery to supply energy, PCBs hosting small electronic, and a screen. Then there are all the senses of the thermostat, allowing it to perceive the environment, capturing information about the real world. Sensors play an important role here, measuring physical quantities and converting them into digital signals, which later can be transformed into data. For the Nest Learning Thermostat, we can assume several temperature and humidity sensors. As this information is critical for the system, redundancy is one way to improve its accuracy. Then, detecting user activity is the key additional feature. This is captured through motion, proximity, and light. The outer ring, enabling users to adjust the temperature manually, is also a critical sensor. It indicates when householders are not satisfied with the current temperature. Finally, infrastructure is itself often an important sensor. Wireless communication at all scale, from Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to 4G and satellites, enable to locate devices by trilateration. This process combines the location of antennas, which are static reference points, with the signal strength received from connected devices. For the thermostat, knowing that your smartphone is connected to the home network is already a good indicator that you are at home. Thus, the device hardware layer is about the physical things, from real world to digital world. At this layer, the role of designers is threefold. First, they need to establish the characteristics of the physical thing. For example, their cost, size, resources, ease of deployment, reliability, useful lifetime, compatibility with existing ecosystem. Second, they need to define the senses of the thing, what information it should gather from the real world, and which of the basic five human senses it should interact with. These two roles are on the shoulders of designers because they have a holistic understanding of the context. Finally, they need to orchestrate the iterative new product development process, or NPD. Here, the challenge is the asynchronicity. This process does not follow the same pace as the iteration of the other layers. For instance, hardware iteration cycles are much longer than software iteration cycles.